Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Callis. Speaking of sports, we're here today to talk about the bowl game between Notre Dame and Iowa State. I'm going to read you a bunch of stats from Iowa State so you can get a feel for them. Obviously, you know all about Notre Dame if you've been following us all year. Um, but it is a big game for Notre Dame. They're only a three and a half point favorite. So when you look at Iowa State and it says their record is seven and five, you got to understand they lost to number four Oklahoma by one point. Oklahoma is in the final four, as you know. They lost to number seven at the time, Baylor, uh, by two points. So it is true they're a pretty tough team, and Notre Dame's going to have their uh, hands full. And I think that's why they're a small favorite. Uh, Notre Dame is three and a half points. So Coach Kelly, as usual in his press conferences, when you watch all of these things as I did this year, obviously there's total respect for the other team, the other coach, Matt Campbell in this case, you know, um, they've done a good job. Look, he's right, Iowa State could have been, he said they could have been an 11-win team, I'll say they could have been a 10-win team. But the point is they're much better than their record indicates. So you have to be careful if you just look at the records and say, oh, this team has five losses, how good can they be? The answer is they're very good. So I think uh, Coach Kelly knows that, Notre Dame knows that. I don't think they're going to be asleep at the wheel. I don't think they're going to be surprised because this is a pretty good team, uh, especially on offense. Uh, I'm going to look at the defense first, though, because interestingly, um, they play three down linemen and three linebackers, and then some combination safeties and DBs, five guys. It's kind of a nickel, if you're familiar with the term. They kind of play five DBs almost all the time. It's not a 3-4, it's not a 4-3, uh, it's actually a 3-3, which is interesting. But their defensive line is their weakest, this is Iowa State now, their defensive line is their weakest um, link on defense. And hopefully Notre Dame can, uh, you know, get a running game going. I'll speak briefly about just one guy in Notre Dame for now, Jafar Armstrong. You know, they had high hopes for him this year. He got hurt a couple times. He really wasn't what they hoped he would be. He did show some signs of life against Stanford, so they're hoping for a big game from Armstrong. Of course, Tony Jones Jr. picked up the slack well all year, uh, but it'll be good if they can run the ball. But I'm just going to give you a few stats about a few of the uh, defenders. Again, their strength is in their linebacking core, uh, and they also have a very good safety. But let me read you some stats on the defense for Iowa State. Again, Three down linemen, three linebackers, very unusual in college football or in pro football. You hardly ever see this, so they'll have to, you know, kind of adapt to that during the game. Um, but their two best players are linebackers, number 34, Ryan Vance, six and a half sacks, uh, 29 pressures, number 23, Mike Rose, 69 tackles. They also have a very good safety, Greg Eisworth, number 12. Now, Rose and Eisworth were both all Big 12, according to Pro Football Focus, which, as you know, ranks all the players at every position. Uh, they branched out into college the last couple of years. The only other defender I want to talk about is uh, Will McDonald. Now, he's a defensive end. He's only had limited uh, snaps. He hasn't played a lot this year. Uh, but in the last three games, he has five of his six sacks, and they're hoping that he'll be the guy, Iowa State is hoping, he'll be the guy that they put on the line of scrimmage. Uh, and he'll be able to get some pressure on Ian Book, maybe get a sack or two, and maybe turn around the weakness or what's viewed to be the weakness of the Iowa State defense, and that is their defensive line. So part of the big question here is can Notre Dame get a running game going against Iowa State? If they can, then you know how good they are. You know, the only other guy I'll mention on Notre Dame is Chase Claypool. His stats this year, 59 receptions, 891 yards, 12 TDs, He'll be playing on Sundays next year. So will the running game open up play action for Ian Book, who, as you know, can also run himself? That's the big hope for Notre Dame. I do want to talk, though, about the, um, the offense. I want to give you some uh, stats. Brock Purdy is their quarterback. He's a redshirt sophomore. Uh, he doesn't have a gun for an arm, but he has a completion percentage of 66.3%. So you know that's uh, two out of three passes uh, he completes. That's pretty incredible, even in today's game. And he's got a bunch of receivers, so I'm going to go over their stats because he's got four guys he can throw to. The first is Charlie Kolar, who is a 6'6", 252-pound tight end who people think will eventually be a pro. Uh, he had 48 receptions for 675 yards and seven TDs. That led the Big 12 in all three of those categories, catches, yards, touchdowns. They also have Deshante Jones, a wide receiver, 72 catches for 832 yards 
and LaMichael Petway, another wide receiver, 51 catches for 622 yards. And finally, they have a guy, Tariq Milton, only 33 catches, but he averages 21 yards per catch. So give that some thought. That's a lot of power. Um, Brock Purdy, the quarterback, he can run it as well as throw it. They don't have a great running game. Uh, of course, Notre Dame is very strong in the back end. They should be able to get a pass rush and, that rush, and that's what Coach Kelly talked about. We have to get a pass rush to make the quarterback get the ball out quickly. We have an excellent secondary, and we also have excellent tacklers throughout. So though they, those are his three keys to stopping Iowa State's uh, offense. My thought is this is going to be a high-scoring game, not a low-scoring game. Um, but I think Notre Dame can still get the job done. I think they're very experienced. Uh, they're looking for their 11th win of the year. They're a slight favorite, but again, not surprising. Don't discount Iowa State because of their record. I think it's going to be a close game, but I think at the end, Notre Dame will win it. Uh, and I think that'll put a cap on a pretty good, I think most people would say not great season. Why not great? Because if they had lost one game, they might have made the final four. This is Steve Callis. Speaking of sports, we'll see you the next time.